What up guys, we're gonna have some gym problems. We're gonna show you our beginner kind of mobility routine that we do for bodybuilding and powerlifting and just general health to kind of get that mobility going. A lot of times we'll do it before a workout. So let's dive into it. We're gonna have it so you guys can follow along. There's gonna be a timer. Kyle's gonna start with the band exercise and I'm gonna go into everything else, mainly the lower body portion. So let's get it. So to keep it simple, all you need is a foam roller, a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. I recommend lacrosse and this red band here. Let's go. Let's begin. So first one, you're going to do cross arm chest stretch. This is good just for hitting the chest. You're just stretching back and getting that squeeze. Fifteen. So you're going to aim for about ten to fifteen reps. Now you're going to go underhand here. Cross arm is going to get a little bit more of the rear delt. Look a little bit silly, but it does the job. There we go. Now from here, nice and simple, you're gonna do spread aparts overhead. Usually you do these with a broom, but we're gonna be doing it like this. We're just doing ton of these. This will really open you up. Really try to stretch a part at the top here and come down. All right. That's all that. Now we're gonna head over. We just use like, if we're not at the gym, just did the orbital work. Just use wrapping the band like this. And we're gonna be doing a lot of shoulder mobility, so it's gonna be in a rotation. So just one. And do ten. So here you're just keeping the elbow tight, squeezing inward. That's it. Nice and easy. Ten. Now for the other side, you can see from behind. So once again, the elbow's tight. Letting my shoulder open up. Oh, palms going inward, outward, sorry, and we're just squeezing. Really, really focusing on that rotation movement of the shoulder. Now we're going to be spreading apart with external rotation. So I keep my hands here. You're going to have to do a little bit tighter, this is a little bit harder. And you're opening it up, keeping that elbow tight to your rib cage. Five, six, seven, eight. Really focus on that contraction, really opening up. It's really gonna get you loose. Now from here, we're gonna do some lap work, so you're just gonna let yourself pull forward. So I'm gonna do a single arm kind of row. Now this forward here, kind of lean into it. Squeeze into your lap. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. So make sure this arm's straight. You're squeezing all the way back. Focusing on contracting that lat. Although it's not a workout, you should be focusing on mind-muscle connection. You're activating all these muscles, waking them up, getting them moving, get the blood flowing. There's 10, all right, onto the foam roller. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off by working the IT band with the foam roller. For us, we like having this other leg right on top because it's gonna apply more pressure. The goal here is to find those points that are really tight and just really target that and foam roll it out. So let's begin. Like I said, we have that second leg on top. I have this other hand for support and I'm just gonna do 10 passes. You're gonna feel a lot of pain because you're really breaking down that tightness, that tight area in your legs, but I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. And then once you're done, we're just gonna move right over to the other side, do 10 more passes. Let's go. When doing this guys, you want to make sure you're going right from the knee all the way up to the actual pelvic area to ensure that you're getting the full effects of this exercise. Now we're going to move on to the actual 
adductor, so you want to have this at a slant, and you're really targeting the inside of your leg, the other leg is going to be up. Let's go. the other leg. Now moving on, we're going to do 10 more passes on each quad, so the actual middle area of the leg. Let's get it, we're almost done. I feel a million times better already. Let's go. Now we're gonna grab the lacrosse ball, and then we're just gonna roll up the glutes. Is this 30 seconds? That's it. For 30 total seconds. Just so you feel it. You really wanna find that actual tight spot. A lot of people have insanely tight glutes, so this is very important to be doing. So to make it a bit tougher, we're gonna put this leg right over the knee. Once you've actually mastered that, you're gonna apply a bit more pressure and find that tight, tight area. And once you find it, then you just keep rolling on top of it. You will feel a lot of discomfort, but majority of people have way too tight glutes, so this will help a lot. And now we're gonna move on to the other side. Guys, a lot of this lower stuff is actually from Limber 11. That's a separate mobility routine. We just took our favorites here and put it into this routine, so a lot of respect to him. But to get started, we're gonna do the Rocking Frog. This is my favorite. You might look a little bit weird, so you're not on your knees, you're on the side of your knees like this. Elbows down, and basically you're gonna be working your hips here. You're gonna be pushing into your hips for 10 passes. So that's one. You wanna really go nice and far back, so really transfer into the squat, really just opens up the hips. I like to hold the occasional one for five seconds, and then just focus on pushing some back. Right, that's four, five. Really let yourself go forward, and then right into those hips. Eight, this is my favorite one. So we made a video on how to fix anterior pelvic tilt. This will also help with that. A lot of people have hip mobility problems, so I can't recommend that enough. Next up, we're gonna be doing the fire hydrant. So you're just down on your knees and hands here, kicking this leg upward like this and around. You're just trying to open up that hip, swinging it around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, catch your breath. Mobility you might feel it a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. After here, I just like to kind of sit back on the knees. For guys, it's really hard, especially if you've got big quads. Just kind of lean back, kick it out, stand up, kick those legs out into the Kozak squat here. Hey guys, this one's kind of advanced but you'll get the hang of it. 
So we're down into a squat like this. Kick the leg out like that. Try to grab it and really try to get this down. Careful to lock because it can put you in pain. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. Kick out that leg. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Next. One, two, three, four, five. Next. One, two, three, four, five. So we just do three passes aside to make it easy. One, two, three, four, five. By the end, you should really be able to drive this down. It's gonna help big time with your kind of squat, good clean kicking last. Grab a couch or a bench. This one's nasty if you have tight glutes. So knees down, you're lifting this leg up. And you're gonna pull this inward and try to push this down. I'm very bad at this one, it's something I'm working on. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Huge tip if you want to work on your mobility and your stretching. Breathe out and in, out and in, and try to push it a little bit more and more. Don't hurt yourself, but it'll really help out. Last exercise. All right guys, stand up, kick it out. Do a couple stretches here if you want, some ballistic stretches, some arm movements, some chest slaps, some shrugs, up to you. But that is our simple, quick, and easy at-home mobility routine. Hope you guys like this. Keep watching it, keep doing it. Watch the video for guidance over and over until you get it down. This is a mobility routine we personally use, and uh, we'd like to think we're pretty advanced in our fitness. So this is what really helped me kind of get up to that that huge deadlift, that over 600 deadlift, that over 500 squat, opening up those hips. By the end of this, you'll be able to have some amazing mobility where you can really just sit down comfortably, kick out that leg, and it will really help you avoid injury, kind of loosen up and be in control of your body and learn that mind-muscle connection. Hit that like button if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.